Okay, we're going to make a one-tenth scale barbecue pit out of these bottles I've got from Dollar Tree. Okay, in order to do that, we got to take two of them. And we need the end pieces off of one, and we're going to use the body of the other one to weld it on the end, the end piece. But meanwhile, we got to get a straight line around here showing us where we need to cut this. And we got to figure out what is one tenth scale for a barbecue pit. Now, most barbecue pits, they come all different sizes. So this could be a large barbecue pit for a one tenth scale, even. Take a piece of paper, run around it like that, somehow. Just mainly bent down right there at the end, but that's all right. Some of it cut and some of it bent. Let's see what happens here. It's in there. 
It's in there, it's in there, it's in there. Okay. Okay, I see what it is. These little dips right here are bumping it. So I'm going to cut a little bit out on this other side. Okay, after whittling, finally getting it down just right, it fits in there. Fits in there. But there's one more thing needs to go in there before this is glued. Is the briquettes that go on the bottom. It makes the fire, the flame. And what I've got here is I've got a bag of some painted and some non-painted pebbles for a fish aquarium. I think we're going to glue them up to go in there. But we need a piece of cardboard that's going to fit in there. Here's our template we used earlier for the wire. Maybe that width Okay, and once that's painted, the cardboard will probably just disappear with the paint into the paint. And then also you can take some of this or Elmer's glue or some kind of paper glue and mix a little water with it and after this dries and brush it on there and it will help to hold all these together also. Use just a little bit of the acetone and just carefully drop it in the middle of it to kind of make it kind of burnt look. Not burnt look, but kind of rough looking. But it's getting there. I mean, Need at least two more, at least another big stake in there, huh?
And then I think we're gonna have a barbecue pit. Okay, I'm gonna brush some Mod Podge over it and uh, where it helps to hold all of it down real good. This is watered down. Coat number two. All right, it's the next day. I let this dry overnight. It's good and hard. It's ready to paint. I got us some steaks and hamburgers cut out too. Yep. And we know about the griddle. We got the griddle ready. And we got the pit ready. Yep. Oh, well, not ready, but you know, cut. We got a handle for the front. You'll see here in a little bit. But also, I got these. These are new. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. And we're fixing to mix up some paint right now. Dollar Tree. Cover good. Get the cardboard too. Now, before we paint this here and doing the gray, changing colors, let's go ahead and paint the griddle because some of it would be black from scorching, especially right in the middle where it gets real hot. Let's go ahead and paint it kind of black. Takes a lot of white to a little bit of black. I'm using just the black that was on the brush. Okay, that's looking pretty doggone gray. Okay. Now we don't want to get them all gray, but if some here in the middle, we want them a different color. We want them hot. They need to be red and orange and yellow, hot. Mainly just the tops on them, some of them. The ones along the edge, we may leave them black. Okay, it may be a little watered down coming off the brush, but that's okay. Right here in the very middle, it should be a lot. I mean, just in the very middle. It gets pretty hot. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of yellow. Not much, just a little bit to kind of accent the idea that it's hot.
All right. All right, we got to paint all our meat now. Everything gets ready before we glue it. This one's got some rough edges, and we'll scuff them off a little bit. Okay, I found a little bit of red. I don't know what brand it is. Uh, it's a bulk of paint that I got off of eBay for next to nothing. But it is red. Now these, I'd kind of, it's on there thick. Those are on there kind of thick. All right, dead battery, had to change it out. Okay, I've got my stippling brush, the little one. Same thing, different size. And we're gonna take the brown, yuck. Just dab it along the red for the overlap. Now after this dries, if we can find some tan, we'll paint the little bone that goes in the middle. Okay, it's still a little wet in places, but it's dry enough where I can add another color, I believe. Okay. I have found this flesh color here that if we got to add a little brown to it, we will tone it down some. Get one at a time. Now the hamburgers won't need this. But the steaks along the outside, you might see just a little bit of fat. Okay, now we're ready to glue them and make placement where we want them at. That looks like a pretty good setup there, huh? And I didn't want it moving around, so I taped the grill down, the griddle. And I'm just going to put a drop of hot glue on the back or two.
All right, and that's probably the first thing we need to glue in the grill. Now, the grill is going to be probably just to be flat like that. This probably needs to go right in there like that. And I'm going to try to make it work. If I make another one in the future, it'll have to be thicker plastic. All right, now this needs to set right in there. I didn't have any model car glue it probably would have worked but what I had some dried up but I did have this already on the shelf and it says it's good for plastics and stuff vinyl glass PVC ABS fiberglass but anyhow this is what we're going to use on there let's get in here okay it's set up I gave it like 15 minutes or so feel it a little damp but it is holding it's gonna be all right Looking pretty good. I got to touch up two of them there. Okay. Get in there. Come on, get in. Get in. Get in there. Come on, get in. Get in. Go ahead. It's okay. No, nope, no. Nope. Get in there. Duck your head. Duck your head. Duck your head. Hang on. We're going for a ride. You see his head right in there somewhere. Yeah. He's not going to always be in this one. This is just today. I had to come out here and check it and see if there's enough room for the RC to fit in here and decide how I'm going to cut or how am I going to make more room to put it in there. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes or so. It sets up pretty good. And we need something along the bottom here to help balance it a little bit.
Okay. You see, I had to tape it up in places to where it would move. Yeah, it sit here maybe 20 minutes. Okay, I just got through touching up the little spots there I touched earlier with my hand. And uh, we're fixing to paint it. Paint it. We're fixing to paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it. Okay, it's hard to see the little briquettes way down in there. They should have been a little closer maybe. So what I'm going to try, I've got some fluorescent sunburst orange. All I need is a drop or two. I'm going to try to just add a drop or two on here. Maybe to give some idea that there's flame or something. I think that's it. One barbecue pit. Needs to dry. That's not bad. That's it guys, tell me what you think, <coughs> or not, talk to you later, bye. Viewing the video and giving us a like or subscribing helps us to continue to want to try to bring a little bit of entertainment. Don't you agree? Thanks, buddy. See you later.